Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyber Roses. In today's video, we will be discussing about the bank reconciliation. So bank reconciliation is a process of comparing a company's bank statements to its own financial record to ensure they match. And it's a way of verifying the money coming in and moving out of an account is accurately recorded. So this always help you to keep a correct financial record by detecting the unauthorized transactions and also provides a clear picture of the cash flow. So let's see how this is done in Odoo 17 accounting module. To manage with the bank reconciliation, let's head into the accounting module. So we can just manage the bank reconciliations for both customer invoices as well as for vendor bills. Now let's see how can we manage the bank reconciliation for customer invoices. For that, you can just move on to the customer menu and choose the invoices where you can just click on new in order to create a new one where I'm going to choose my customer over here. So my customer is ready match where you can just fill out the details over here and you can also fill out the details such as the invoice date and under the invoice lines, we can set the product. So the product is storage box and here you can see uh, the price. Let's change the price as 150 and including the tax, you can see that the price has just turned into 180. Now let's confirm the invoice and you can see that the invoice has moved from its draft state into the posted state. Now the next step is to make the payment. In order to make the payment, you can just click on register payment where you can find the price at all and let's click on create payment and we can just consider the invoice number because while creating the statement for reconciliation, we have to set the reference number of this invoice so let me copy this um, invoice number from here and we also just need to know the exact price in this invoice that is the total amount and we also just need to know the customer over here which is ready mat edit so in order to do the reconciliation you can just move on to the dashboards and here you can find the bank so you can choose the bank and here i'm going to create a new statement so before creating the statement, you can also find the payment. So here you can see the payment that is generated under the match existing entries. And now we just need to create a statement and we just need to do the validation process, uh, process over here, which means checking of the statement against the um, payment. So here under the label, I'll be setting my reference number. Later on, you can set the payment. Uh, that is the payment amount, which is 180. So you can set the proper amount over here. So if you're setting wrong, wrong amount over here, then that would uh, give a result in inconsistency. Later on, we can just choose our uh, partner, which is ready mat. So um, yeah, well set and let me choose uh, save and close button. And here you can see we have just created a statement. Now we just need to um, validate this. So let's choose a payment and let's choose a statement. And afterwards, when you just remove the filtration here, you can see we have made the reconciliation process. Now let's move on to the invoices. And here you can see that the invoice has moved into the its paid state and we have just in with its payment. Now let's see how can we just do the reconciliation process for a winter bit. So you can just move on to the winters tab and choose its menu. And from there, you can just go with bills where we can just create a new bill by filling out the details so let me choose my um uh, yeah winter as wood corner and it is mandatory to set the bill date afterwards we can just choose the product so i'll be choosing the product as laptop where you can set the amount over here so let me choose the amount as 800 euro and here you can see that the total is just turned into 960 euro Later on, you can save this and let's confirm this order. And we just need to make the payment. And here you can see the amount and all. And let's click on create payment. And after reconciliation only, this will be moving. That is the amount will be moving to the bank. So in order to do the reconciliation, we have to create a statement. And we just need to go with the same process of that of the reconciliation of the customer invoices, which means we can just copy the weather bill reference number and uh, we just need to consider uh, the vendor name, that is the partner name, as well as the amount. Now let's move on to the dashboard and let's click on bank. And we want to just create a new statement. 
in order to create this statement you can just click on new button where you can see yeah we can set the amount so here you just need to keep in mind that as we are just uh, managing with uh, the vendables we know it's an expense so the expenses will be indicated in negative number so you have to set the amount in negative number as the amount is just moving out of the bank so here you can see see that i have provided the total amount in negative number we we also just need to fill out uh, the label that is the bill reference number now the next step is that we just need to set the partner so here we know the partner is wood corner later on you can just choose the button which is save and close this because we only just need to create one statement now you can choose your payment against uh this statement and yeah let's see that as you just remove the filtration here you can see that the payment has changed and we have made with the reconciliation so as you just move on to the vendables here you can see that the bill has moved to the paid state as we have just done with the reconciliation by regularly making reconciliations with the bank accounts the business can maintain a proper financial records so i hope this video clarifies how to manage the bank reconciliations in odoo 17 accounting module and if you want odoo customizations or odoo tutorial videos feel free to contact cyrosis as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video